The most powerful question you can ask when learning or teaching is why. When you take the time to ask why, you're engaging in the learning process that deepens your understanding of the subject matter you're learning. There's a proven, researched-backed term for this type of questioning, elaborative interrogation. Welcome to Learning in Technology with Frank, where we look at how technology can help us learn and teach more effectively. In this video, we're going to take a look at elaborative interrogation, what it is, how it works, and how to create learning content that takes advantage of elaborative interrogation. This video is part of a series of videos on how understanding the research into how people learn can improve our own learning content creation. This series is sponsored by iSpring, and I'll be demonstrating how to use the iSpring suite to apply these theories when building different training content a little bit later on in the video. So what is elaborative interrogation? Sounds like something that would be part of a crime show or something, but it's really the why show. Elaborative interrogation is a questioning technique that promotes learning by using questioning to explain why certain facts or concepts are true. The process of generating explanations helps you to integrate new knowledge with existing information, deepening your understanding and your memory retention. This method encourages us to make connections between new and known ideas, neurons that fire together wire together, fostering a more comprehensive and relational understanding of the material that we're studying. It's particularly effective at enhancing meaningful learning and critical thinking skills as you build a network of knowledge in your memory, in your mind. The connection of ideas generated through the questions you ask yourself about the material you're studying creates a deeper and, well, more connected learning experience, deeper memories. The saying that applies here is, again, neurons that fire together, wire together. The more meaningful and connected you can make the learning that you're participating in, the more likely you are to commit it to memory. This means that when we create learning materials, we want to promote this type of questioning and critical thinking through all of the different activities that the student's participating in. Let's take a look how we can do just that in the iSpring suite. Elaborative interrogation is the process of asking questions about something that you're learning and connecting it to previous knowledge or previous experiences. Well, in iSpring, what I can do is I can facilitate that questioning by giving some prompts to the user to start asking those questions. Here I'm working on a course on the Great Lakes and there's so many things that I'm gonna to add to this, quizzes and interactions and different things like role plays. But for now, I wanna add in some elaborative interrogation questions to get the user thinking about something that they've just learned and sometimes I like to do a little bit of a trick and have them start thinking about what they're going to learn next. You can actually play around with this to really get some good results. So here I have a course that I'm working on on the Great Lakes of North America. And I've got three sections. I've got the names of the lakes, I've got the depth of the lakes, and I've got some of the geological uh, uh, things that occurred in order for those lakes to be created. So under after the names of the lakes, so after I teach or demonstrate the names of the lakes, I've put in a blank slide. And here's where I could put in a number of blank slides and start asking some questions just to have the, the learner start the process of connecting knowledge. To make these slides more exciting, I could go in and put a character in here. So I'm going to go in and put a character in this slide here, and maybe we'll keep it a little bit fun and I'll use an, an actual illustrated character as opposed to a um, an actual photo character. It really depends on the nature of the course. This is kind of a fun course. So let's just go back here. We'll scale that person that's going to be asking the questions there. Maybe I'll put in, I'll insert a text box in here. So I'll pop, pop a text box in here. And maybe the question will be, what lakes have you visited? What lakes have you visited? So now, I'm going to go in and ask them what lakes they visited and maybe I'll actually go right away and ask a follow-up question. Uh, how large were those lakes? How large were they? And maybe I'll even ask a third question on this one slide. How deep were they? Because we're going to look at the depth of the lakes coming up. 
So this will be a nice sort of precursor to the next uh, unit of knowledge that they're going to learn and begin the connections. How deep were they? And I could even ask what their names were, but again, you could have multiple slides with different questions on each slide. And of course you could scale that. You can do all the things that you might do um, in order to make this um, in order to make this exciting and, and visually engaging for the students. Now you can also make this fun if, with iSpring if you go into the objects. So if you go into objects in iSpring, there's a whole library of different objects you can insert. Again, I'll stick with illustrations and maybe throw a map on there and you can put the map on there. In a classroom environment, what I might do is I might use this as a discussion topic, but with an online course, I may want this just to be prompts. I could even follow this up with another slide where the student could actually input the information into a text box. But here I just want to get them thinking at the end of a learning experience and to begin the process of that elaborative interrogation where they're connecting what they're learning about the Great Lakes with what they may already know about lakes that they visited. They may start thinking about the size of lakes. They may start thinking about the depth of lakes because in the next section of this course, I'm going to introduce the depth of the lakes. And then following that, I'm going to introduce the geological forces that created the lakes. So you can see I'm starting to build not just a presentation type course, I'm, I'm using an iSpring, I'm using the iSpring suite to create a course that uses things like collaborative interrogation to really use the best of what we know about the science of learning to help the learner absorb and retain this information and connect it to things that they may already know. Elaborative interrogation is not the only research-based tool for learning though. Check out this video for another technique that helps us learn and teach more effectively.